Hi everyone. Good evening. This is Anita here. Um, you know this uh, webinar is regarding the topic "Don't Delay Your PG Medicine Plans." Uh, I just want to know if you're able to uh, hear me loud and clear, and if you can hear me, kindly acknowledge. Um, you know so that I'll be able to proceed further. If some of you are not able to hear me, then uh, you know I can uh, just check it out. Can you all hear me clearly? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for the acknowledgement, Doctor. As I mentioned, my name is Anita Devi, and uh, you know uh, I'll be your uh, host for this evening. And this webinar is all about PG seats in India. And I'm sure everybody would have attempted uh, NEET examination. So here, uh, this won't be a one-way communication. So it will be an interactive session. So as and when you have questions, you can stop me. You can raise your hand or you can send me a chat. I'll be able to answer all those questions for you. And at the end of the webinar, you'll have a clear idea how to get a PG medicine, basically without NEET examination or without qualifying in NEET examination. All right. So shall I proceed for the participants? Okay, all right, fine. So um, okay. as the topic says, don't delay your PG medicine plans. Okay, so that's the topic here. And uh, I would like to start off with this uh, statistics. If you see the number of uh, PG seats allotted in every state, like it has all the states and if you see on an average it's nearly around uh, not even 1000 because in many of the seats there's uh, you know very minimal numbers you have hardly like you know on uh, three or four seats where you have around uh, uh, 2000 seats so that's a pathetic situation uh, in india altogether and uh, this is the current scenario of MBBS versus PG medicine seats. So, um, you know, they have increased to 67,352 MBBS seats, both uh, uh, in government as well as private sectors, but hardly 31,415. And this number itself is kind of not 100% clear because like um, government says that they have increased the number of PG seats, but including MD, MS, DNB, Diploma, we are not really clear whether this will be the number, but still in UK or US, you have, uh, if they have 30,000 UG seats means definitely they'll have 30 to 40,000 PG seats because they want all the UG guys to get into post-graduation. But unfortunately, India is the only country which is vice versa. You have 67,000 UG, but you hardly have 31,000, which means definitely not everybody can get a PG seat. So, you know, this is the current scenario in India. Now, uh, yeah, about the next one, and there's no hope whether they'll be able to increase the number of PG seats because as you all know very clearly, we don't have that many fa faculties and we cannot overcrowd uh, the colleges and definitely no way we will be able to increase it to 67,000 um, you know, PG seats. Now, each and every one of you who have participated, I'm sure you would have attempted NEET examination a couple of times or DNB examinations or AIMS or JIPMA and uh, you know, you might or might not have got good score so now you all will be thinking like you know what should you do if you're not getting a PG seat okay now I would say like you know please ask these questions yourself maybe you would have asked before but yeah do you really want to do a super I mean specialization or PG at this time after a couple of attempts you would have been thinking you know yourself should I even um, you know think for a PG seat or should I just go with an MBBS itself or, um, you know, some of your friends might have got PG seat, but still, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't have, but your consciousness will be thinking like, you know, if I give my 100% effort, will I be able to get a seat at least next NEET examination? Or it's better to drop my PG plan and get into some kind of like an MBA hospital administration or some administrative role where at least you have a better salary rather than expecting, hoping and wasting your time. So all these questions, but uh, most important is if you think about your family life or your financial capabilities, then that's not going to, you know, uh, help you in any ways. And you all know what is the average salary of an MBBS doctor in India currently. It's not even, you know, 20 to 40,000. So, you know, this salary even a 90 person can get rather than you spending nearly five and a half years uh, for an MBBS, it's better you go for an IT role. So that's a pathetic situation currently in India. Now, you have to just understand the reality here. See, 
you know you all have prepared well everybody has gone through dams or batia or any of the coaching centers but even uh, you know university topper is not able to get good marks in the neat examination because i would say the pattern is uh, not at all like competitive or even if you get good marks then due to category you're not able to get your interested specialization and i'm sure you all have better priorities it is higher priorities than just trying again and again and wasting your time for neat examination and as i mentioned earlier um you know if you fail in neat or if you don't qualify in your neat it doesn't mean that you know you have less intellect because many of the university toppers have terribly failed okay so now in this situation i would like to also tell you about a fact that this 50% all india quota in state 1 see look at the uh, reservations for the 50% state quota seats you have 25% for the other categories including st sc and you have the 8% for which it is uh, you know special background category and 5% for economically weaker section and only 4% open category here in in this i have taken an example of pg seats in maharashtra where you see there are nearly 4100 uh, aspirants who come under the open category but uh, based on the 4% category if you see you only have 100 seats under open category so uh, you have 4100 students waiting but you hardly have 100 pg seats so it's not even 2 percentage so what are the others going to do waste one more year attempting a neat examination or dnb examination it's absolute waste of time and if you look at the segregations also you don't get all the specializations that you require for so uh and one more factor is like nowadays the dnb programs are also getting shut many of the uh, colleges or uh, the hospitals are basically don't have the required infrastructure the faculty or many of them don't pay the required stipend so in 2018 alone this is a list nearly 44 seats have been shut down so either like you know they have to be relocated so that's another problem that you guys will be facing now considering all these facts now do you really need a pg the answer is yes obviously you have to satisfy your ego uh, your batchmates have got seats you have to face your parents and you have to move on so definitely you need a pg and you you des deserve it because you spent a lot of year into your mbbs now in that case how much do you deserve i think everybody would have uh, chosen your interested specialization by now and by the end of this webinar you will be able to definitely get a pg seat i assure you on that uh, based on your uh, interested specialization and that too in india itself and without any donation capitation now based on your specializations if you're going for a super specialization so this would be the average annual salary and this is taken by forbes if you want i can give you i can share the link also see uh, and on an average a neurosurgeon will be able to earn nearly 591000 us dollars so that is nearly i would say more than 4 crores Four crores per annum, so it's nearly three lakhs, approximately more than three lakhs uh, on a monthly basis. I'm sorry, thirty lakhs. I'm sorry. Please correct me. It's thirty lakhs. Thirty lakhs on a monthly basis. So that's what you deserve. Urology or orthopedic surgery. Look at all the uh, topmost specializations and the annual, um, you know, average salary. So this is what you deserve. So um, I'm going to help you, uh, you know, and guide you so that you will be able to. at least achieve a part of this amount rather than just going under an mbbs category and earn like you know 50 or 80000 rupees in india okay so let's see how and uh, uh, here you can also mention your interest in specialization as well as the location where you're from so that it will be easy for me to guide you like where are all the branches available in india and according to your convenience you can choose the uh, branch and the location okay now get your pg degree from texella at your convenience so you have a problem we are the solution for you and through which definitely you're going to uh, attain success so i'll tell you how so um, basically you you might be asking like you know you have a lot of indian colleges aims jipmer or pratima medical college or srm university now when there's why should you choose texella american university Who's Texel American University, and what will you gain? So I'm, I'm going to give you all the answers to that. Okay, so I have 
a uh, couple of students who have mentioned the branch and their location yeah so it will be noted and by the end of the webinar i'll be able to give you the price the uh, available branches and the location so that you will be able to choose okay so now coming to why you should be choosing texel american university so here are the um, you know here are the options before that i think i have a couple of chat all right so one of the students is from mumbai you want to do general surgery absolutely we have general surgery doctor and we have it in mumbai itself all right and i have another person from kamam i hope kamam is from andhra telangana interested in cardio all right yes we have cardiology available okay and radiology medicine yes absolutely because we are available pan india we have all the options for you we'll be able to in addition if you can mention your email address and your whatsapp number in private to my chat uh, that will be easy for us to communicate all right so yes so continuing further like i'm, I'm going to list out on couple of pointers as to why you should uh, choose texella the number one is pg neat qualification is not at all mandatory that is you might have given couple of attempts uh, in the first attempt you might have qualified second attempt you might not have qualified uh, we don't you don't need to worry about it at all because as i said pg neat is again going to concentrate only on your mbbs pattern that's like you already done with mbbs so we don't want your pg marks okay it's enough that you have attempted uh, an examination either a pg neat exam or an aims exam or dnb any of the pg entrance examination that is all we are looking forward for uh, we don't mind if you qualified or we don't um, you know not qualified that's not really required in our university okay so as long as you have an mbbs registration with your state medical council uh, um, you know registration number that is more than enough for us uh, for you to take Uh, the program with us so that's point number 1 i'm sure you guys will be happy because that's the most important worrying part now you all are going through so you don't worry about neat it's not mandatory qualification is not mandatory in our university so point number 2 is no donation on capitation i think everybody is aware that you are going you are scheduled to pay crores and crores in management seat uh for a radiology or internal medicine or whatever is your branch so if you want your branch if you want in your location then you have to pay in crores and lakhs but in texel american university you don't need to pay any capitation or donation it is only the course fees for the 3 years so that's a caption here we don't charge you in crores we will make you earn in crores so as i have mentioned in my previous slide nearly 500 and uh, i'm sorry 5 lakh 90000 dollars for a neurosurgeon so that's what we're going to make you crore rupees okay so we also provide scholarships if you're eligible that is um it depends of couple of things and most important is uh, ba uh, is based on your uh, overall mbbs percentage also so that I'll, i'll let you know like how you can avail a scholarship in our uh, program but definitely we don't need any capitation it's going to be only the course fees now the third most important is um you can choose your branch whatever we you want and see these are the list of branches that we are offering internal medicine pediatrics gynecology general surgery radiology and emergency medicine could be possibility but these are the five uh, major branches that we are offering you now here if some of you might be looking for a uh, dermatology or an orthopedics you can still get into these branches and attain dermatology and ortho i'll tell you how okay so uh, whoever is looking for for those two branches alone just put in your uh, whatsapp number i'll tell you how you can get through ortho and derma through these five branches itself okay so the reason why we have mentioned internal medicine plus mrcp is this is a dual benefit program which i'll be covering later so it's the same three year master degree program how you'll be studying from any indian medical college or a university like a jipmer or a names and uh, you'll be getting the uh, master degree at the end of the final year so i'll tell you how you can get it so i'm sure like uh, you have determined like what are the branches that you've chosen now the options pan india is we have in kolkata mumbai pune bangalore delhi chennai hyderabad coimbatore and trivandrum and we are in uh, the final stages of um, you know finalizing locations uh, which will have uh, another six more added on to this list 
so you will have various locations so in case uh, if somebody is asking i am in ahmedabad I, I don't have an option then you can choose the nearest one and we are coming up uh, with one more uh, option in ahmedabad very shortly in couple of months time but uh, these are the current locations so you can choose the near one for you and then options for dual qualification as i said in the previous um, uh, slide internal medicine plus mrcp so now what is mrcp any idea like uh, you know uh, uh, any anybody knows what is mrcp or mrcs anybody anybody knows about this royal college examinations like what is mrcp or mrcs have you seen this qualification in your senior most consultants name board if so you can mention it in the chat or otherwise i can elaborate okay um uh, doctor for some reason i'm i'm getting your name as test uh, is it possible you can mention your name and your email address doctor the doctor who just acknowledged as no when i asked the question as uh, royal for royal college is it possible you can mention your name dr samira okay all right dr samira uh, fine so i'll just give you a heads up of what is royal college see this was formed somewhere in uh, 1500 years before in united kingdom and it's very prestigious uh, done by royal call uh, you know the kings and queens it was cps so in fact our maharashtra cps is exactly a copy of this uh our royal college of uk it is college of physicians and surgeons right so same was initiated some 1500 years before in united kingdom and uh, then they added on the prefixes r royal so it 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 is now called as rc it is royal college of physicians and surgeons and then they had a different for every branch they have royal college they have royal college of physicians royal college of gynecologists royal college of surgeons royal college of pediatricians so if they have variety of uh, colleges colleges means it is not like a classroom setup they just an examination conducting body so during those 1500s there were a lot of mortality because um, you know apart from professional uh, professionals that is doctors everyone uh, who, who can deal with uh, you know sisters and nice they all started dealing with the patients and there was high mortality so because of that they formulated this royal college so uh, through an ordinance it was like only professional qualified physicians and surgeons uh, you know should handle patients so uh, that's how it it came in now uh, that is considered to be uh, highly prestigious so if you are a member so basically in order to get a membership into the royal college let's say surgeons then you have to write one or two examinations and you will be given a membership so you might ask what is the benefit of becoming a member so if you are a member then you the particular qualification the membership is valid not only in india in more than 120 to 150 countries across the globe so you don't need to write licensing examinations in any country that you want to okay so now in this a list of participants itself you some of you might be thinking that no i want to be in india itself i don't want to go abroad okay no issues you can be in india itself you can work in private sectors corporate sectors government sectors you can work anywhere the advantage is you will be given a higher package and a higher designation when compared to your colleagues who just have an md medicine or a dnd medicine that's a biggest advantage but are you spending anything more are you spending any time um, you know lengthier no it's only the same 3 years like your colleagues you're spending the same 3 years but you're getting both the qualification so that's a biggest advantage or the other category of participants who feel like you know i do i want to get into some foreign countries yes this is the right opportunity for you because in many countries you will be exempted from writing licensing examinations if you are a member or a fellow of this prestigious royal college so that's the advantage of becoming a member it's not like many, many some of them might think like this mrcp or mrcs is needed only if i have to go abroad no it's not correct it can be utilized in india itself and it can be uh, utilized in any foreign country so you're smartly spending just 3 years and getting both the qualifications all right i hope i have just given small clarity or a heads up of what is uh, royal college now i think i have couple of questions here uh Okay, Dr. Saida has mentioned I have not attempted NEET this year. Can I still get into this university? 
if not this year fine but have you if you know you, you could have attempted in previous years if not we you can go through a panel we have a panel which comprises of our dean and the assistant registrar and uh, you know if you are eligible through the panel then you can definitely get into our program all right hope i have answered your question dr saida and uh, please do mention your whatsapp number and your email address once the webinar is over i'll be able to contact you and give you more details as to how you can okay Fine. So let's move on. Now that's the heads up of the Royal College. So you're going to get a master degree in internal medicine, plus you will get the respective MRCP, that is a membership or the fellowship. So it's kind of uh, two in one damaka. So you have two qualifications within the same three years. Okay. Now the next benefit is, how are we going to train you guys for the next three years? See, the training will be happening in uh, DNB teaching hospitals okay uh, so as i mentioned the the cities like kolkata delhi mumbai pune so we have associated with teaching hospitals in those locations for instance we have fortis hospital or in andhra telangana we have kims krishna institute of medical science in delhi we have mata chanandevi hospital maharaja agression hospital so we have plenty of hospitals in all these locations and you can choose the nearby location or the most suitable location for you and based, based on your branch basically you want internal medicine in delhi yes we have uh, if you want surgery in mumbai yes we have in any that, that's how you have to choose so once you're chosen you will be studying under the hod or the dnb consultant for the next three years and uh, all our staffs and faculties are royal college certified faculties okay so uh, it's a three year program so you just have uh, the same kind of academic submissions like any other pg doctor the same case reports log books you do your assignments and thesis you start up the thesis work by the 10th month you submit your topic and by the end of third year by the voice all those things is the same and by the end of the final year you go through a theory and clinical examination and upon clearing that examination you will be awarded the master degree in whichever branch let's say if you chosen surgery then you would have master surgery that is ms ms general surgery so you would have ms general surgery awarded from texel american university in partnership with university of central nicaragua now our university is a who listed unesco listed and even mca listed university so i'll come to the point as to how it is mca listed all right so i have a question here um I like a MD medicine or MS ortho degree in Kolkata or Bangalore, and this is program and degree furnished in the end recognized by MCM. All right. Uh, yes, doctor. Um, we you, you can uh, take up medicine either in Kolkata or Bangalore. We have uh, the seat available. As I mentioned in the beginning, ortho. I'll tell you how you can obtain ortho, but medicine is already available seat for us. in kolkata and bangalore and if you are, the second question is is the program recognized by mci now the answer to your question is now there is no more mci right it is only nmc national medical commission um through september 2018 the first ordinance and january second ordinance mc has been replaced by nmc national medical commission in the post through mr modi's government and now they have repeated so obviously it is it will be only nmc and yes if, even when mc was there under the second and the third schedule we were listed already texelas um name is already listed and we basically have three campuses that is in south america middle east as well as in africa so we have three campuses where we are conducting mbbs pharmacy and nursing programs and uh, you know upon completing your uh, fmg exit examination you can sit for the i mean you can get your mbbs degree validated but for pg there was no such examination till date but right now in nmc they are bringing up an dnb exit examination so that's a great news for us because if you can utilize that exit examination and you can also the degree can also be validated in india just like i think you might know those five countries right uk usa australia new zealand and canada the same way um, you know you if you have any foreign pg qualification apart from india then you can also sit for the final dnb exit examination 
all right and this mrcp mrcs anyhow is already from uk so that is already validated so with both the qualifications you can definitely work in any indian private corporate sectors and in government sectors as well right and for more information doctor um, kindly mention your whatsapp number and email so that at the end of the webinar i'll be able to contact you and give you details okay so uh, to continue further as i mentioned all the faculties are royal college certified faculties okay and uh, as i mentioned you you have the option of becoming a member of fellow of the royal college and from this year onwards we are also giving you an associate membership see now i have covered uh the topic of like how you going to get the degree number 1 which is a master degree in the respective branch so you start the course by end of 3 years you write the final examination theory and clinical upon completing you get a master degree from texel american university in partnership with university of central nicaragua now uh, if you ask me like how am i going to get this mrcp uh, so we give you at the start of the program itself we will give you an associate membership in the respective royal college let's say if you're taking internal medicine then we give you an associate membership in the college of physicians royal college of physicians so what's the benefit of getting that membership is um, you'll have access to all the training materials their practice questions the key updates newsletters everything right and your progress will be monitored by the royal college in uk on a, a monthly basis and yearly basis and at the end of the third year if you're interested you can directly travel to united kingdom without writing any exam i think you all are aware about lab professional linguistic assessment board there is no need of writing that examination you can directly get in okay so i'll just tell you how how it is possible uh with that royal college examination and your internal medicine degree because it's a who listed degree you can work with that degree in uh, that is in across the globe and this uh, mrcp mrcs is valid in more than 120 plus countries the in us you have to write us only but apart from that major countries like uk australia singapore middle east or malaysia many of the countries uh, or canada will give you an exemption don't need to write amc or singapore medical council exam or like say in middle east it's dha dubai health authority examination or hard examination many of them give you exemption so you can directly walk into those countries with that membership and fellowship of royal college okay and even with our pg degree you can work across the globe you can choose your destination and you can work across the globe for your higher package be in india or be in abroad as per your convenience and most importantly if you ask me like can i go for super specialization it's a definite yes after completing let's say somebody has done ms general surgery after that if you want to go for mch in neurosurgery cardio surgery cardio thoracic vascular or if you want to go for dermatology cardiology ndm yes you can definitely go ahead but as you know in india you still have to fight again through neat ss so that's a hard way but or otherwise if you want to get into foreign countries like choose uk australia canada and all where there is lot of world renowned colleges and universities offering you these mch programs like in in um, uk you have university of dundee uh, university of birmingham they all offer you mch so there you don't need to write another entrance examination is a direct admission for you because you hold a pg degree plus a membership in royal college so that's the best advantage you're not going to waste any more time while doing your super specialization okay now these are some of the tau uh, um, credentials we are a member of uh, international association Uni of universities we are also part of association of commonwealth universities and international center for academic integrity the global compact american association of medical education and global alliance for medical education in addition we are also listed in medical council of india and as i mentioned we have three uh, campuses that is in south america middle east and africa in all those respective countries we have we, we have registered in the particular countries medical council also like say nac nac which is the uh, medical council of guyana we are registered that is in south america and we are registered in zambian medical council in africa so we are registered everywhere okay now 
what can you do after you get a PG degree from Texela? So, as I previously mentioned, the working option is in private corporate sectors, or you can start your own hospital. Mention this qualification in your name board or prescription and start practicing. And if you want to get into government sectors, like say any, any GH um, government hospital in India, you can work as a PG doctor, or you can even work as an assistant professor in any medical colleges in India, most important. You can work in any medical colleges in India, uh, and then you can directly uh, go abroad. Uh, let's say somebody wants to go to UK. Okay, so there you know you have uh, uh, G uh, GMC, General Medical Council of UK. So what you have to do is, they'll ask you for three documents. One is your UG degree certificate, um, and then you have to provide a PG degree for which you'll give Texelas PG degree. And the third one is your MRCP or the MRC, the membership. So with that, um, if you apply, they'll give you a provisional registration and a visa with that you can directly fly to UK and there you have two options option number one is um, you can go for a job or you can do a super specialization so the choice is yours right now I have a question here uh, does Royal College certification make any difference in salary absolutely absolutely because see um, may, may have your name doctor is it is it Dr. Samira who asked that question? All right, okay. I think it's from another doctor. Uh, see, because if um, if you uh, let's say you are in Delhi and uh, you have a Texela's master degree and an MRCP of UK, and I'm also in Delhi and I have a DNB in internal medicine degree. If both of us are going for an interview in any of the corporate sector, uh, corporate hospitals in Delhi. Definitely both of us will get a job, but the difference is uh, you will get 40 or 60,000 on a minimum I'm talking about 40 or 60,000 rupees higher than me because you have dual qualification, two degrees. You have something additional, which I don't have. Even I spent the same three years. You have a WHO listed PG degree and you have a world renowned membership in the prestigious Royal College. So definitely your package Will be higher. Alright, so that I can assure you, and your job is guaranteed for sure, and your designation as well. And obviously, your your uh, you're considered to be more prestigious among your friend circle itself because everybody will display their cards and uh, name boards as MBBS MD or MBBS DNB. But you will have, and let's say if a surgery candidate, you will have an MBBS, comma MS, comma MRCS of UK. So that's more prestigious. Uh, even among your friend circle and your family as well and not only here I um, mean it stops here once you become a member the next level is a fellow level so for that fellow level it's a FRCS fellow of Royal College of Surgeons for that you don't need to write any examination by default after a period of seven years or eight years you are eligible to write that uh, you know appear apply for that FRCS and all the other senior fellows will be electing you as a fellow so what you have to do is during the seven or eight years, you, you should be just uh, publishing some journals or an active participant in the respective Royal College. That's all. So you can have an FRCS also added to your name board. So it will become Dr. Uh, MBBS, MS, MRCS and FRCS of UK. In between, if you're ready, then do a so MCH also in India or in any foreign country. So everything is possible. The most important is the branch and the um, uh, location without capitation, without need. You're getting it right away without wasting any time. See, I think you're all are aware that the DNB examination is already cancelled. So many of you might have, uh, you might be thinking in your mind that let me give a, a DNB attempt if not need. But now that's also cancelled. So what are you going to do? You're going to wait for another neat examination. So again, get into some coaching centers like Dams and Bhatia. Absolute waste of time. Because see, last but previous year, it was only 64,000 students who wrote the exam. And last year it was... Um, one lakh twenty five thousand this year it's already one lakh fifty five thousand next year for sure it's going to be more than two lakh students so where do you stand a chance to get your branch and that to a new preferred location 
impossible it's it's nearly impossible so a uh, doctors i would say don't waste any more time see if you are putting that effort uh, into need if you put that into an mrcp preparation it is a hundred percent yes because need is a competitive examination and this mrcp mrcs is a non-competitive examination which i meant where you know see it's it's a non-competitive examination so it's only you and you're sitting for the examination you're facing those 200 multiple choice questions that's it if you're getting that minimum required mark you're through you don't need to wait for anyone there's no criteria there's no cutoff there's no limitation especially there is no restriction Many of you might have got a good mark, but because of a category, you didn't get your branch, right? But here, it's not like that. If you're getting a minimum required mark, you're through on the first exam and you're going for the next exam. So this gives you, this is more real, more practical and gives you result, all right? So put in your effort for an MRCP rather than another uh, neat examination, okay? So as I was telling you in the MRCP, we give you an associate membership and we make you write that examination. The MRCP, for example, I'll take internal medicine. Part 1 and Part 2 is simple theory, multiple choice questions. Like say Part 1 out of 200 questions, we have the segregation clearly. Like say you will have 10 questions from cardio, 11 from dermat, maybe like say 8 from neuro or like say 7 from infectious disease. So we make you write the practice questions. So 50 questions, 5 zero practice questions once in every 15 days. That makes 200 questions a month and 1,200 questions a year. So when you are attempting that cardio questions, you your posting will be in the cardiology department. So in the cardiology department, you're getting clinically trained, you're academically getting trained, and you're writing your practice questions in cardio. So you've covered an entire topic clearly. So you move on to the next topic. So this is what is done for the entire first year. And by in the first year, you will write a mock exam with Texela for the MRCP and there itself you'll be able to assess yourself. So once that is done, then you sit for the actual MRCP examination which is happening in India. You choose the exam centers. You want to write in Delhi or Bangalore or Mumbai, you choose the exam centers, sit for the exam and out of 200, you get the minimum required mark. You're, if you're through, well and good. But if you are failing, don't worry because these exams are conducted thrice a year not like neat where you have to wait for one year here it is conducted like say every jan may and september so if you're missing out on the september slot if you're failing in the september slot immediately you can give it again in jan all right so through Texilla's training we are maintaining an 85 percentage passing ratio in the first attempt and 100 percent in the second attempt so for sure even if you're an average student you'll be able to clear it in the second attempt that is uh, by let's say Jan. So the same kind of preparation will go on for the part two and then for part three, which is the clinicals or the paces, uh, it's it's actually not clinicals. It's only like how you communicate or talk to the patients. So that's really easy. We train you from the first year onwards. Every six months, we assemble all the internal medicine guys in one hospital and we bring in an MRCP or an FRCP faculty from UK and they'll train you how you have to handle the clinical examinations. So that's repeated every six months. So by the end of third year, when you're appearing for the final clinical examination, it absolutely it is easy. And if you want, yeah, you go for a second attempt also. So, you know, by, by all means, you want to and so you know, available right in front of you at the end of three years so you will be uh, one of the smart doctor in your group when others will be just going behind neat examination 
you have smartly taken a decision by getting into Texella program. So now our upcoming session is for September, September, October, and we have started the admissions. And I would request you all to mention your WhatsApp number and your email address in my individual chat so that I'll be able to get back to you as soon as the webinar is over. And as I mentioned, uh, you will be eligible for a scholarship also. I'll tell you the criteria. Okay, here I have a question from Dr. Sayada. Where will be the final examination of MRCP health? Doctor, you have centers in India itself uh, for all final MRCP phases, clinicals. Also, you have centers in India, except for radiology. Those who are going to radiology, there is FRCR. There is no member level in radiology. It is a direct fellow level. Um, for that, uh, from the first exam till the third exam, unfortunately, we don't have centers in India. You have to go to UK, Hong Kong, or Singapore. But except for radiology, all the other branches, uh, internal medicine, pediatric surgery, OBG, everything, uh, you have centers in India itself. Okay? Hope I've answered your question. See, uh, that's why you please share your uh, WhatsApp number and your email address so that I'll be able to call you. And personally, according to your personal need, I can check the branch and the availability in your nearby location and the fees also for you. And if convenient, you can take admission. If you want, we can share the contact numbers of all our current students who are currently studying with Texela so that they'll be able to share as their thoughts as to why they chose Texela, how is the academics, how is the clinicals, what's the plan of the, after three years. So everything is possible. Uh, we are basically trying to help you to take an informed decision rather than going behind this impossible neat examination. Don't waste your time. So um, get all the information about our university. I'll be able to assist you. And then finally, you can make an informed decision. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, you, you might be eligible for a scholarship also. But I have to uh, have uh, certain documentations checked. So for that, I would definitely need your WhatsApp number and, and your email address. I'll be able to assist you with. Um, do, do you have any questions for me, participants? Has, has everyone uh, mentioned your uh, WhatsApp number and your email address? Because that's, that's, why, uh, that's how I'll be able to contact you. Please mention your uh, WhatsApp number without fail. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, yeah, I, I have a question. Um, how many hospitals do you have in Mumbai? In Mumbai alone, we have around uh, three hospitals. That is... Uh, Fortis, a well-known name. Fortis in Mulun, Mumbai. We also have Saifi, Saifi Hospital. That's again an 800-bedded hospital in one single location. And also Jaslok, Jaslok Hospital. So similarly, in every location, we have a couple of hospitals. So, um, you know, it will be more than around 20 to 30 hospitals in India. And will I get any stipend? Absolutely, because this is a PG program, so you are eligible for a, a stipend from the first month onwards till the end of third year. And you also have an option, something called earn while you learn. Okay, so that is once you become a student, I'll be able to give you that option. But stipend part, yes, it's definite yes. And um, uh, when I'm going to call you guys uh, through your number, I'll be able to tell you as to uh, how much would be the stipend. Okay, uh, I have a question from YK5 Note. What's the fee for MRCS? MRCS 2 exams, doctor, part 1 theory, part 2 clinicals, and that will be approximately for every part, it will be roughly around uh, 25 to 35,000 rupees per exam. Per exam, a one time fee of 25 to 30,000 rupees. Okay, and in Bangalore, how many hospitals? In Bangalore, uh, we have uh, two hospitals that is St. Philomena, St. Philomena uh, Hospital as well as um, Santosh Hospital. And we are coming up with one more third hospital in Bangalore. Okay. Hope you have given your uh, WhatsApp number, doctor, so that I'll be able to give you more information. Oh, yeah, I have a question here. Is there any additional charges for Royal College training? Absolutely no. Uh, see, the total package will include uh, the associate membership and everything. You're not paying anything additional because the master degree curriculum itself is a Royal College curriculum only. So here are the advantages. You will be reading just one book, but you can write for the examinations at the same time. So no additional effort, no additional charge, no additional time required, but you're getting two degrees within three years. 
all right hope i have answered your questions uh, so if you have if you don't have any questions and if you have mentioned your whatsapp number and email address then um, you know I, i would be concluding this session and as soon as the session is over i'll be contacting those who have given me my uh, i mean your whatsapp number and this is my number 8056770681 probably i'll type it in the chat also for your reference you can uh, send a, a hi message to my uh, uh, whatsapp uh, so that i can contact you immediately so this is my whatsapp number my name is anita devi and this is my number 8056770681 please make a note of this number doctors and just send a hi message uh, there you can put in the branch that you want the location you are in so that i can immediately contact you and give you all the details okay so you have my email address as well mentioned any more questions any more questions all right okay so it was uh, it was really great uh, that i was able to give you certain information about the pg opportunities in india and thank you all for spending your time and participating in this webinar uh, so we'll be we'll be conducting similar webinars in future also to enlighten you more on your pg options in india and abroad so do participate and please get in touch with me through my number to get your pg seat immediately without any waste so once again thank you all for spending Spending your time and have a lovely evening. My number is uh, I've mentioned in the chat also. I'll repeat. It is eight zero five six double seven zero six eight one. Eight zero five six double seven zero six eight one. it's in the screen and i have mentioned in the skype as well i'm sorry in the whatsapp as well all right okay thank you all have a nice evening participants thank you bye bye